And good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever the time, welcome to our Friends Forum. We concentrate on cooperation and coalition, and this method, um, we'd like to see it happen in government as well. We would like to see an opening up of, governments, uh, of government on a populist theme, meaning many, many more people could get involved in Brexit decisions and help to shape the new UK of the future. Hmm. Now, the last effort here, uh, we asked the question, is Brexit viable? And we said it could be. Assuming Brexit followed through as it was promised and that we are free from EU non-democratic control for good. Now we must go back to the promises of David Cameron's referendum, where he finished on this theme. So this Thursday, remember who we are as a nation, remember how far we've come and how much more we can achieve. And for you, for your family, for the future of our country, vote remain. But what are, have we really achieved in ordinary man's thinking, in the ordinary man's life? The true answer was, and it still is, practically nothing, for there are less jobs available, less people working, less youngsters in apprenticeships. Our parliament is working hard, usually it seems for itself. It might even be accused of money laundering, uh, with the um, UK tax revenues used for its personal gain. But no, we know full well that it's doing its very best. The trouble is very little is given to the ordinary folk. The people who have not, have not got the direct power or voice to take it up on this matter of progress, progress which we cannot see. So we were promised by Mr Cameron that if we voted out we could set up a new trading arrangement. Many are now saying this will be the, to the advantage of the UK as things are. But do we really live in a de democracy or not? Or will we end up back in the EU in all but having a new name? Now come on Westminster, let's see that we can, you can really keep to the promises made by this government. Or is this the reason that Mr Cameron got out of his project, uh, once his projected result didn't make it through the referendum, yes he got out. For he had struggled to get the EU to change. So Mrs May got, gets the problem uh, for his mistake, trying to run a dysfunctional government. Now, how can the people of the UK, we, ever trust this government again, unless we get the result we voted for, to leave the single market and the customs union? Thanks again for listening. Oh, I'm doing this in my dressing gown because it's very cold outside and in Leeds we've got lots and lots of snow and one cannot really get around anymore. Um, again, thanks for listening. Subscribe to our channel um, to future the United Kingdom's cause. Many thanks.